Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim's Special Edition. My name's Camel and in this video we're going to check out the unique two-handed warhammer known as the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. And if you are following this guide on the standard Skyrim edition, this is in the Dawnguard expansion. Now the Dawnguard Hammer is an ancient weapon with holy powers, the perfect tool for a paladin. To learn how the Dawnguard Rune Hammer is used with the epic paladin build, be sure to check out Michael and Scott at Fudge Moppet. A link to their channel will be in the description. They create and carefully construct story-driven Skyrim builds, the most recent of which is the Paladin, a holy warrior wielding none other than the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. Say hi on my behalf. Now acquiring this weapon can be a bit annoying if you are in a rush like I was today, or if you don't like the Dawnguard as a faction. But believe it or not, here is the short, sharp explanation of how to get the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. Firstly, we need to come to Fort Dawnguard. This can be found on the southeastern edge of the map just to the east of Riften. Once we get there, walk inside and talk to Isran. Agree to help him and this will begin the quest Awakening. After completing that quest and returning to Fort Dawnguard, we will get the quest The New Order, in which we'll have to hunt down and recruit Gunmar and Soreen Jurad. Once we recruit them and bring them back to Fort Dawnguard, the next quest we will get is called Prophet. During this quest, we will have to rescue the Moth Priest Dexian Evicus. Now after rescuing him and bringing him back to Fort Dawnguard, we'll want to talk to Soreen Jurad once again, the lady whom we recruited during the earlier quest A New Order. Once talking to her, she'll begin the quest bolstering the ranks, in which we have to rescue Laurentius Banius. And once Laurentius has been rescued and settled back into Fort Dawnguard, we will be able to get the side quests from him by asking, how can I help? He may redirect us to other members of the Dawnguard and say we need to help them first. Or he may just give us the quest straight away. Regardless, eventually he will give us the quest Lost Relic, in which one of three relics will have to be recovered. The Dawnguard Runehammer, being one of them. We can get the quest Lost Relic three times, so all three items can be obtained in one playthrough. Of course, if you want the Dawnguard Runehammer, continue accepting and completing the Lost Relic quests until you are assigned to recover and return the Dawnguard Runehammer. The locations will also be randomized, so they cannot be recovered before getting the quest. So the quest Lost Relic may be the first quest you get, or you may have to do every single other side quest before finally getting Lost Relic. The sequencing of the side quests appears appears to be randomized. So now that we finally have it, let's check it out. The Dawn Guard Rune Hammer. It has a base damage of 22, which is the same base damage as a Dwarven Warhammer. It has a swing speed of 0.6 swings per second. This leaves us with a base DPS of 13.2. It has a reach of 1.3. Its weight is 26. Its value is 500. It can be upgraded with a steel ingot and only requires the steel smithing perk to be upgraded. And the enchantment bashing a surface plays is a 50 damage fire rune. Let's just take a second to appreciate the cool holy glowing effect of this Dawnguard rune hammer. Now a lot of people get tricked by this enchantment and they think that the weapon is actually bugged when in reality it's probably not. Bash a surface to place a rune. As you can see I'm bashing the crap out of this surface and there are no runes to be seen. Well in Skyrim bashing is something specific. It's when you're holding a two-handed weapon and you block and while blocking you hit the attack button. This will do a bash attack and as you can see once we do it, the rune is now placed on the surface. So you must block and then attack while blocking. Now this rune placement distance is increased by the rune master perk in the destruction skill tree, granting five times increased distance, which as we can see, the placement distance is pretty damn impressive. Also, placing runes with the Dawnguard rune hammer increases your destruction skill level. Now although being tied into the destruction skill tree, we cannot increase the damage of the rune placed by the Dawnguard rune hammer. Its effect will not be increased with perks such as Augmented Flames. However, this rune that is placed acts exactly the same way as runes from the Destruction skill. When an enemy gets close to the rune, it will explode dealing 50 points of fire damage in a small area. Now as far as my testing could tell, your character is not damaged by the rune's explosion, so your proximity to the rune does not need to be taken into account. Now placing the rune does actually cost 50 points of your character's stamina, opposed to Magicka. Placing a rune of the same magnitude using standard destruction magic would cost 
cost much more magicka compared to the stamina cost of the Dawn Guard Rune Hammer's rune. So in terms of stat consumption value, the rune from the hammer is much more efficient. Needless to say, this enchantment is very useful as you can place a rune near a distant enemy, dealing ranged AoE fire damage with a melee weapon, rendering the Dawn Guard Rune Hammer in at least some regard a ranged weapon. It's also time efficient because you can place fire runes without having to swap your weapon for a spell, and vice versa. So you can cast fire runes and do melee attacks with one and the same weapon. And with the rune placement costing stamina instead of magicka, this means you have kept your entire pool of magicka untouched, ready to be used for other holy paladin related spells. And just a warning, using this weapon, you will make your enemies drunk. They'll become absolutely hammered. Not only will they fear the holy wrath of the dawn, but more specifically, that early morning sun and the effects it will have on their hangovers. They're going to feel completely ruined. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide of both how to acquire and also how to use the unique two-handed warhammer in Skyrim, known as the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. Again, if you want to see this hammer applied very cleverly to a very well thought out and story driven, role playing driven build, the Paladin, be sure to check out Michael and Scott over at Fudge Muppet. Again, a link to their channel will be in the description, where you can see their new Paladin build using this very weapon, the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. If you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful in some way, I think you might be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos that you wish to watch freely. Individual links will of course also be in the description if that's how you roll. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here with me discovering the effects of the Dawnguard Runehammer. And I will see you very shortly in the next video, I'll see you there soon.